In digital technology, data is found to be the most important asset. With data in hand, most processes are performed on the internet. As it is the most important attempt, the chances of being theft are very high. The data transmitted and stored on the internet and physical devices are highly prone to security attacks that will steal the data or corrupt it. The most important reason for this data theft or corruption is to make money or affect the reputation. Cybersecurity is the technology or technique developed to handle the data from various kinds of activities that are harmful. So, in this video, we are going to talk about cybersecurity and some of the common types of cyber attacks. First, let me address the agenda for today's session. We will start our session with a brief understanding of what cybersecurity is. Then, we will understand the importance of cybersecurity. Moving on, we will discuss the common types of cyber attacks. I hope the agenda was clear. Before we start with our session, if you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about certification courses, check out our website. The necessary information is given in the description box below. Without any further ado, let us get started with the first topic, what is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is the technique used for protecting the computer network, devices, data, and applications from various kinds of security attacks. The security attacks in the digital world are the digital attacks that are mostly performed based on the internet. The internet is the primary source for digital attacks where protection has to be implemented using proper methods. Cybersecurity is the key used for protecting data from cyber attacks. Security and privacy are the two important factors when you deal with data. Data stored in the computer system are highly prone to security, and hence the need for security is more. Cybersecurity is a defensive mechanism to safeguard the system and its components from attackers and hackers on the internet. Cyber attacks are of several types, and the most important types are discussed in the following. Security has to be enabled in the computer system for the most common cyber attacks to protect from harmful attacks. Every network connected to the internet is prone to security attacks, and hence the need for cybersecurity is higher. Both personal and organizational data need cybersecurity programs to secure the data from the attacks. It has evolved highly with the advanced technologies available. This was just an introduction to cybersecurity. Now, let us move on to our next topic and understand the importance of cybersecurity. Is it essential to hold cybersecurity in organizational and personal computers as well? The answer is, definitely yes. Cybersecurity helps protect the system with the help of various cyber defense programs. With the help of advanced technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain, cybersecurity mechanisms have been developed. As every data is made digital, personal data like photos, videos, documents, and other data are stored as digital data in the computer and cloud-based storage. The stored data is protected with effective cybersecurity mechanisms for improving the security from the various attacks on the internet. It is not only for personal data as well as for the organization. Business organizations handle data of large sizes and many numbers. The data from such organizations will be sensitive and highly confidential. Any attacks causing data loss or theft of data will cause the loss of reputation and business. To prevent the system from such problems, implementing cybersecurity mechanisms is vital. Based on the risk of security in the market, more advanced and strong security mechanisms are needed. So, I guess you have some idea about what exactly is cybersecurity. Now, let us talk about the common types of cyber attacks. Now, a cyber attack is a malicious activity attempting to destroy or steal the data stored in individuals, business organizations, governments, and so on. The benefit of such activity is the data that is highly demanded in the cyber market. This demand is that data is sold either for money or to shatter reputation or fame. The person performing such action is called an attacker or a hacker. Some of the most common types of cyber attacks on the internet are. First, malware attack. Malware is called malicious software that will intrude into the system to destroy the data stored. Examples of malware attacks are viruses, worms, spyware, and so on. The source of the attacks is dangerous email links or websites containing malware programs. Second is, ransomware attack. It is a type of malware attack, but the data system is locked by the attacker demanding the ransom amount to release. The legitimate users are hacked by using ransomware programs injected using the vulnerable points in the network. The ransomware process is performed by either encrypting or deleting the entire data from the system. Third is, phishing attack. One of the most dangerous and popular attacks on the internet is phishing. 
It is the technique where the fraudulent messages are sent through mail or a text message which looks legitimate. Once the link is clicked, it will act as the malware to perform activities like stealing sensitive information or destroying activities. Fourth is, denial of service attack. Denial of service attacks will flood the computer system so that it cannot respond to the service requests that are to them. The requests are not processed as it is denied or delayed from servicing. Denial of service related to the delayed reception and servicing of the requests from the server and client side. Next, sixth is, SQL injection attack. It is abbreviated as a structured query language injection attack, where the attacker will insert the malicious code into the system with which the data from the database is hacked. The data stored in the database is highly insecure due to SQL injection attacks. Seventh is, insider attack. It is not that attacks are always from outside the organization and the internet. There are chances that attackers will be inside the organization's premises. These attackers will inject the malicious code and cause serious consequences in the system. These attacks are hard to identify as they are inside the organization. Eighth is, password attack. It is a type of attack where a hacker will try to steal the username and the password stored or typing on a website. Then, they are traced with the help of the intruded software designed for that particular activity. Weaker passwords and visiting malicious websites are the reason for the password attacks in the systems. Net, ninth is, session hijacking. Session hijacking is the attempt to hijack the user session between the server and the client. The cookies will be the source for the attackers performing the session hijacking as the data is stored in cookies. The client may believe that they are communicating with the server, but the middleman will perform malicious activities like stealing data. Tenth is, zero-day exploit. Zero-day exploit is an attack performed once when the network vulnerability is announced. Since the vulnerability is not treated immediately, attackers use this to steal or destroy the network devices and the data stored in them. The attackers use the short time to exploit the system to perform malicious activities easily. I would like to conclude the session by saying, Cyber attacks are increasing daily as the value of data and information is increasing. Cybersecurity has also been developing with the help of advanced technologies. Proper identification and implementation of cybersecurity mechanisms will help mitigate the risks that are either identified or arising in the future. Cybersecurity is essential to improve the security of individual personal computers, business organizations, government data, etc. So, with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Comment your thoughts in the section below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, never to miss an update from the Invensys Learning Channel. Also, if you are keen on studying more and want to do a certification course, Invensys Learning is the right place. Invensys Learning provides a variety of certification courses. In addition, Invensys Learning provides certification courses that are accepted worldwide with which you can gain knowledge and career growth. All of the necessary information is given in the description box below. Thank you. Have a nice day.